The accounting cycle is the process that your accountants go through to create your financial statements each month, from entering transactions, to making adjusting entries, to closing the books at the end of the month. This is a process that gets repeated over and over. That's why it's drawn as a circle. You do one month, you set your income and expense accounts back to zero, and you start the next month and do the same process again. So let's take a look at this process up close. First, transactions take place. Then you're gonna record those transactions in your QuickBooks. These transactions then need to be posted to the general ledger. Then you're going to print your trial balance and make sure debits equals credits. Then you'll make any adjusting entries necessary. You're gonna reprint the trial balance or the adjusted trial balance and make sure your debits equal credits still. Then you go ahead and print the financial statements, the profit and loss and the balance sheet. Then closing entries will be entered. QuickBooks does this automatically. And you go back to step one, transactions taking place. So let's take a look at this in more detail. Transaction taking place includes getting a credit card receipt or cash receipt, you paid for parking, you create an invoice to a customer, you write a check or you write payroll checks or you receive a bill from a vendor. Then you take these original transactions and you're gonna enter them into QuickBooks. You put them into QuickBooks and you assign them to an account, whether it's an income account, expense account or cost account or a balance sheet account. In the old days, you had to post these transactions to the general ledger. You no longer have to do that. QuickBooks does it automatically for you. After your general ledger's looking good, you print the trial balance. Take a look at the report, make sure your imbalance and your debits equal your credits. If you're off, you have to do some adjusting entries or you may have some other month-end adjustments to make. After you make all your month-end adjustments, then you print an adjusted trial balance. Again, making sure your imbalance and your debits equal your credits. Once you're in balance there, then you can go ahead and print your financial statements, your profit loss, your balance sheet, and your cash flow. At this point, you're ready to close the month. You will go ahead, save those reports, and then income and expense accounts can be zeroed out and you move on to the next month. You do not have to do the closing entries and the zeroing out of the accounts. QuickBooks does that automatically. So income and expense accounts are closed out. We go back to step one, transactions taking place. That is the accounting cycle and how it works.